Hi everyone, so today I am going to connect a wireless keyboard which I bought on Amazon and this would be the Artec HB066 Universal Folding Bluetooth Keyboard Certified Frustration Free Packaging <laughs> whichever whatever that means so this is the device in its package this is my iPad let's go Okay then, let's uh, let's look at this frustration-free packaging. What a frustration-free packaging. So let's get this unboxed. Nice and opening. Okay, that looks nice. We have obviously the standard feedback sheet. Destruction manuals in English. Oh, wow. Yeah, there's plenty on there for you to tuck into. So we can quickly look through that. Let's have that open. And we've got the charging cable inside as well, which looks like a standard USB, what I would term as an Android adapter. Okay, or the Samsung. All right, so. Let's move that out of the way. Move that out of the way. Okay. First feel, it feels like anodized aluminium. Yeah. Uh, it has a plastic, I'm presuming it feels like plastic bracket. And we open it out and it's ready to go. Okay, so it had a power icon on there. Power light. So what we have is the USB adapter in there. And we'll have a look around. Is there anything else of note? No. Okay, so it's flat. Can it be pitched? No. All right. So I think the next thing to do then is uh, get it queued up. So it's got some instructions. Uh, the keyboard is able to connect and pair to three devices at the same time. You can pair the keyboard to the device by long pressing both the function key and the Bluetooth key at the same time. So function key is on the bottom row here. And then we've got the Bluetooth key, Bluetooth key here. And then depending on which device you're connecting to, those are the three it will try and pair with. So I'm going to charge, I'm going to connect it to the, my iPad Pro 12.9 today, and we're going to crack on with that. Um, operating distance is up to 10 meters. Bluetooth version is 5.1. Uh, let me see, do, 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 anything else that needs. Standby time is 200 days, charge time is two hours. It's a lithium battery, 500 milliamps, uh, uninterrupted working time of 90 hours okay um, keying life 3 million strokes if only I could get that far operating temperatures minus 10 to plus 55 centigrade I presume okay so what else is there um, one is here which is uh, let me see let's have a look at this number one that's our bluetooth keys here number two indicator is let me see on here power on off which that was what we saw when we first seen uh, battery meter indicator for press function f8 function f8 I suppose we need to work out how to turn it on first okay it's a power on and off indicator. Unfold the keyboard to power on. Light up greens for about four seconds. Oh, okay. So if we just fold it, that's it. It's powered off. Unfold it. Power on. Green indicator light, as we can see. And it goes off after four seconds. So battery meter indicator. Press FN and uh, FN plus, sorry, the function key and F8. The left indicator will blink to show the power meter. Let's see function f8 or maybe it's it'll be displayed on the on the iPad 
So let's start the pairing process for that right now. So we're going to go into settings. We're going to switch on our Bluetooth. And we're going to do some discovering of devices. So let's uh, press F1, function and F1. So this is indicating. So the keyboard has come up, Bluetooth 5.1 keyboard. Click on that. It's doing its thing. Connected. Well, that was quite simple. Okay. Let's bring up a notepad. Let's put some text. So we have a new note, just to test it out. The quick brown. Oh, let's get my fingers in the keys here. Let's try that again. The, let me see, home keys. Quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog. And another test, shall we? All good men should come to the aid of the party. Oh, we missed the P there. Let's go back. Okay, it seems all right. Let's try it again. The quick brown oh, fox jumps over the lazy dog. Now, that term, that sentence there, actually uses every key in the alphabet. Brown fox jumps over the lazy dog. And one more for good luck. The quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog. So as you can tell, I can touch type. All right. Um, yeah, it uh, it sort of bends a little bit to the sides. It sort of has a has that feel where it's sort of spreading down a little bit. You can see here that in the frame, it sort of has the hinges in the middle and these sort of push down a little bit. Now, it's not too bad, to be honest, um, because your hands do tend to fold out that way anyway. All right, it's a natural thing to do. The, oh, let's try that again. Oh, well, let's see what other functions we can control. Can we turn the volume up? No, let's come out of that. Maybe it's a function key. Yep, we have audio at the top there, coming up and down, so we can control the audio. Um, we can mute. Yes, we've done that. These are using the function keys at the top. So can we search? Yeah, we've got a search key. We've got a battery indicator light. All right, so it's flashing. So I don't know what that means. Um, what does it mean? Indicate will blink to show the battery power. We just did. All right. We can print screen. So it's just took a screenshot. I take it we can play music if we had any music set up. We can play, pause, forward, rewind. We can adjust the brightness. Brilliant. Don't know what. Oh, there we go. We can close it out as well. So it's taking you back to your home screen. We'll go back to notes. We'll just delete those. So yeah, yeah, this is pretty good actually. Do we have a print screen? Function F7. Oh no, that's, that's up. So we have a print screen there, so we could print if we wanted to. Okay, let's delete that screenshot. So yeah, um, yeah, I like it. What else can we do? Function keyboard. Oh, we can go full screen with our options there. Or we can, yeah. I like it. I like it a lot. And it was very cheap as well. So falls away. That will sit nicely in your backpack. That's about the size of my hand there. And then obviously the keyboard has come into play because it doesn't detect this anymore. Let's just switch it back on and see if we connect automatically. Yes, and we're up again. Fox jumps over the lazy dog. Now, I wouldn't say I have big hands, to be honest, but this is pretty good. Um, yeah, I quite, I quite like this. I wouldn't mind if it had some sort of flip down that you could pivot a little bit just to raise it up a bit. That would be cool. But then you'd lose, lose the ergonomics of it, I guess. It has little rubbers on here to stop this scraping on your desktop. So there's little rubber mounts on the sides. And it seems quite solid. Yeah, it's not overly heavy. Um, does it tell me what weight it is? 
No. No. And then we go into the Chinese, uh, Chinese instructions on the back. So, yeah. So, anyway, this is the Artec HB066 Bluetooth keyboard. I like it. So that was the review for a wireless keyboard at, uh, well, the Apple version for my iPad is about £350. This thing is about £30, so it's a no-brainer. Um, I already had a backing thing, so as you can see, the iPad was sitting quite well up anyway. And I got that on Amazon as well. Another link in the description below. I think that was about £20, £22. So comparing £350 to £30 for this... It's a no-brainer. Um, if I lose this, I wouldn't be heartbroken. If I lost the keyboard for my iPad that I bought from Apple for £350, I would be devastated. Uh, so, yeah. Next review I think I'm going to do is my VHS to digital converter that I recently purchased. It is, uh, it's more Mac-based, but it's, it's a great device. Uh, it does work in Windows as well. And so do these, by the way. So this is not just a Mac keyboard this or an iOS keyboard. This is also for Windows. This is also for Android. It works on mobile phones. It works on your uh, PC. It is Bluetooth at the end of the day. I got this because I needed something for the iOS because I, I want to do a bit more blogging and a bit more typing when i'm out and about in the van all right so thanks for watching if you like what you see give me a thumbs up if you didn't like the video give me a thumbs down hit that button twice and if you've got any questions comments or anything else like that i'd love to hear your feedback all right thanks for watching love you all bye <laughs>